Hi guys, okay, I'm gonna go through our shark unit. My third grader has been begging for books and books and books of sharks, and um, so he's really interested in this. And so I thought I'd put together a unit and um, my kindergartner, he's also a boy, he will love this. So it'll be just a unit for them. My two older ones won't really care and uh, they've got a lot of work ahead of them. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you will know we've signed them up for a Becca online. So they will be like sitting in a classroom online with a teacher. And so they will be very busy with all of that. Um, if my, my other middle child, if she wants to uh, join in this, of course, she may, but I'm sure that she probably isn't as interested in this, but I thought I'd kind of feed off of his love for the sea animals. He also like he's interested in whales, but sharks is really, really fun for him. So I'll just pack him full of the right and true information about him so he can have all that and it'll be a fun little unit study for us. So um, my latest video, uh, shark, uh, shopping video, showed where I got this book from Ollie's. So this is a fun little reader. So I'll probably start off with this. It does have some pictures in it as well, but I will read this aloud to the kids and we'll start off that. Um, I got a lot of little, little, actually most of the books here probably all came from Goodwill. Um, if I saw a shark on it, I just went ahead and grabbed it for him. And we, if we didn't like it, um, we'd give it to a friend or so. But I love the books that uh, show real pictures of of the animals. Um, a couple of books here are drawings and things, and that's fine too, but I really like to show the kids the books that have all the real pictures and um, show, show them what the actual animals look like. So, and this one is really interesting. It goes into how they feed and what attracts them, different things like that. So this is really neat, and that'll be interesting to just go through with them. This one is Everything Sharks. So packed full of information. I think this one also has, let me see if she's in here. I believe, or it might be in this one actually, it's in that one, so I'll show you in a second. But um, anyway, so the contents of this book is just um, little pictures, little information, just kind of everywhere. Um, eating in style, and you got your little photo gallery with little fun facts on each one of them. See that? That's really cool. A shark family tree. This one is really, really fun. So this will be fun to look at, fun pictures, and uh, good information. Kind of goes into how long they are, how big they are. We'll be going through this one. And then we have... This one is just called Sink Your Teeth Into Sharks. Again, this is a lot of uh, real pictures. Just love that, that's so much fun. Close up picture of their teeth. So the boys will just love this. And these, and really these are going to be easy to get through. And when they love something and they're totally interested in things, they are, it's a lot easier for them to remember information and facts about that because they're already crazy interested in it. Um, there's things that they have to learn or we want them to learn um, and they're not as interested in it and they kind of pull some of the information that you've taught them but if they're loving it and they're totally into it they're going to remember a lot more about it. So this is the book I wanted to show you. Um, it has Bethany which the, all the kids have watched Soul Surfer so they they know about her story and she's in this book so they will love that. These pictures and all this information. So this one will be fun. This is Discover More Sharks. And I think I got this from Goodwill because it was supposed to come with a free digital book code probably somewhere and I don't, I didn't see that anywhere. So, okay. Anyway, um, this book just actually it talks about whales and sharks and the fr uh, first part of it just gives information and it's drawings of sharks. Anything amazing facts about sharks, how sharks breathe, so forth and so on, the great white. Uh, so we'll probably go through the beginning of this book when we start off our unit study. Uh, I believe, yeah, this one came from Target. 
So Shark Frenzy. Again, a lot of, of little uh, fun facts all over the place. The different kinds of teeth. So you got the Great White, the Bull Shark, Tiger Shark, and so forth. Their sizes and compared to each other. So this will be fun for us to throw into it. And it was only a dollar. And I got that actually from Target here recently. So it's on their shelves if you guys are going to be doing a shark unit. And this is what do you do, um, or what do sharks eat for dinner, sorry. <laughs> this is also drawings. I don't think there's any real photos in here. So these are like questions and answers all throughout the book. So can a shark taste? And definitely a shark has tiny taste buds. And so this will be fun to go through. And if they have any questions, maybe we can answer them through this book that, that didn't give us the information in the other one. So this is fun. So this is our shark unit, and I will be doing that this year. If you guys have any books on sharks that you think will be great to add to this, uh, let me know in the comments below. But if you like this, give us a thumbs up. Thank you.